Uh, well, I mean, I wouldn't really call it time off. I, you know, as far as looking forward to it, I would be, you know, I'd be lying if I said it's it's any time that we really get a whole lot of time off because we don't. But it's, uh, you know, I think the biggest thing about the off week, it, it gives you a chance to look back on all the previous games of the season and really pay attention to detail and really, you know, critique yourself to the max. And that's kind of what we did today. Today we watched a little bit of Auburn, our game against Auburn from last year. And um, we uh, we went and watched almost, got through almost the uh, all the running plays from this this, this season. And uh, I think it's a tremendous benefit, it's definitely for younger guys who it's their first uh, full season as a starter. And I know last year it helped me out a lot to just kind of slow it down, not, you know, worry about a, you know, a very, you know, specific game plan, just kind of look at everything as a whole and, and see what you need to improve on and, and go from there. So it's, uh, you know, we're looking forward to getting better this week and, you know, I guess we'll obviously watch some football this weekend, but as far as, you know, from now till, uh, till the weekend, we're looking forward to, you know, to practicing and getting better. Would it be accurate to say then maybe it's a physical, a little bit of a physical break, but you're, you know, mentally you're still watching film, you're still trying to get better and smarter and the whole nine yards? Uh, I mean, it's, it's a break just from the standpoint that you don't have to play a game and, you know, you get to just take things a little bit slower. You know, we always, we always watch games after we play and, you know, and, and critique it, but, you know, at some point you got to kind of jump into that game plan for the for the upcoming opponent, and you know, the, you know, just get to take things slower this week and really just look back at, at the first eight games as a whole and, and kind of you know go from there. So it's 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 it's, uh, it's always been a good thing since I've been here. It's always been a benefit to everybody. So I think it will this year too. You know, Nigel, it's David talked about you know trying to everybody likes to to win the game or everybody's ready to win the game, but they don't really prepare mentally and, and physically for it. Meaning, just you know, how do you keep in your passion and, and hunger alive? knowing this is just a long season? Uh, I mean, you just got to keep in mind, you know, what you want to accomplish, you know. A quote from Michael Jordan, he talked about, you know, your bodies get fatigued, but, you know, if you really want something bad enough, your heart never gets fatigued. So that's kind of the approach that I think we need to kind of take as far as, you know, keeping in mind what you want to do. And it's going to come down to, you know, how bad do we want to accomplish, you know, what we're going to accomplish, what we need to accomplish, and, you know, what we're capable of. So it's, uh, that'll be, that, that'll be uh, up to each and every individual, I think. And, you know, as a team, we need to just, you know, like I said, take a step back this week and then really look at where we are and, and look at what we need to improve on and, you know, go from there. Is it, 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 I guess you got to keep that mindset knowing that you've got uh, three top 25 teams again coming up on your schedule as, as, you, as you close out the regular season. Right, yeah, I mean, we got we certainly got a pretty tough stretch of, uh, of four games, you know, going to Baton Rouge in two weeks. That's going to be, that's going to be a big game and, you know, obviously they're going to be coming off their off week as well. So it's, uh, you know, it's something that, that that right now we're not exactly you know getting into the game plan for LSU. We're we're kind of working on us and, and you know looking a little bit a little bit of different things that all of our opponents do from here on out. You know, like some Auburn stuff and and stuff like that. And uh, so it's it's going to be it's going to be beneficial. It really is. You know, even though you played a, a, a great second half against uh, Tennessee, you know the offense there's still a lot to to uh, prepare for or, or uh, work on in there this week. There is. You know, we we uh, you know we got to get better and we're not worried about any. Any, any any critics out there except for the people you know in the, in this building that come to work every day and, and we got everybody's back and we uh, you know we got a lot of trust in each other and, and we're, we know what we're capable of and, and we know that the only people stopping us from reaching from reaching that is ourselves so we uh, you know we just got we just got to work on it we just got to go to work and and, and, and and get grinding again on the practice field and and c continue to get better but you know the second half against Tennessee that was that was uplifting and that's that's the way we need to play you know no matter who the opponent is no matter if it's away or if it's home or you know, no matter what the score is, that, that's that's the standard the coach always talks about. That's, that's the standard that we got to play to, and we know we're capable of playing that standard. I think most people would agree with that. So it's uh, it's something that we just got to kind of you know come together as a unit and you know get to work. How fun was it for you watching that uh, Julio just you know and, and Greg the offense finally start start clicking? It was nice. I mean, I, you know, I'm not I'm never surprised by anything that that Julio Jones does. So it's uh. You know, it's 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 something that we expect out of him, and you know, we're ex extremely excited that he was uh, able to have such a huge impact in the game. And he's uh, he's been working his tail off, you know, even with the the surgery in the hand and all that type of stuff. It's not something that's that's affected him in any way, from what I can tell. So it's um, you know, it's really uplifting to see him do something like that. And I, you know, I think he'll be able to do that from here on out.